Hello, welcome to Manalors Eastern Kingdoms, episode 2, Alwyn Rising. So we find ourselves in a rebuild. If you haven't seen the first episode, which is the speed build of this, the reason for it is because I'm going to show you right now, whilst, that's, whilst they're doing whatever they got to do, and it, but it for a while I was a little bit bogged because I had a different badge, which being this badge here. You see this badge? It doesn't really represent anything to do with the Alliance or World of Warcraft. So, but I I hadn't thought of the names when I made that save. It was called Canuck, like my hometown. So that put me off a while. Then I made a new badge. Which was this one in a just messing about. And I was like, oh, kind of alliancey. I wish I could re-roll, but I was like, nah, I'm too far into it. Until, so as you can see, that's my badge now. Until I hired twelve retinue guys, the full amount I could, pulled them out to take a screenshot of them, and lo and behold, for the first time ever. Let me find the image, it's coming. I'd never seen any of my army carrying a flag. Here you go. And there they are, carrying a flag. Yeah, their colour's kind of the same, the shield. But this part of the flag, you can't see my mouse. Well, on that flag, you can see the red. Now, that's not our colours. So I thought, right, okay, now I know what's going on. Let's get rid of that, and I'll explain. Now I know what was going on. I have the town here, and we were building some kind of representation of Stormwind, but it's not going to be it, Stormwind, but say so you come in, so the manor will be built here with a fort, so we're building a fort. Will it be laid out like Stormwind? So around here, your trade center, where all my tailors, blacksmiths, blah blah blah, will be just like in the trade center. Up there, we'll have like the church. Church will be removed. I just built it quick so we can get level two burgage plots to get two points. Apples trade. I've got housing. We're waiting for. Well, I guess they'll move in here, and then someone will move in here. Then I can lay down the apples. We set up a trading route for clay, which there's a family on it. Getting back to what I was saying. So, yeah, the cathedral part here with the church and all that. Over here, we would have the, uh, what would, of what would be the dwarven district, where perhaps, actually, the mining would be. Although the mining's kind of there, as well as the clay, but we'll we'll figure that out. We'll figure that out. You know, so it will be laid out like that. Down here, as it was as it was in the previous save, this was Red Ridge. I had this covered. I took that, and I just started building down here. They'd got their houses down here, and we were going to farm all this. Luckily, on this save, they uh, also it they they obviously had good fertilization medridge, whereas Westfall didn't. They would, you know, I was going to refertilize the land, but luckily now Westfall's all ready to farm. This would be duskwood, I'm led to believe, but. Duskwood shouldn't have fertilization, so we'll get that when we get that. This is Gilneas, where I want to build a fort here. Wall it all off, wall them in, just like you know they were in kind of real life, perhaps. You know, this is sort of like what, where does Gilneas sit with sort of Tristful Glades, whatever, whatever, but. For the first time, normally I would take a rich hunting, better pull them off, and they can 
do whatever for now. Uh, where was I? Yeah, but I thought I couldn't be asked to keep restarting because you have to, with the flag, the reason why the colours got different, every time I restart to try and get in the middle, I just keep the badge. I've already saved the badge, so the badge is loaded. I didn't realise when you make a new game, you've got colours on the side. I didn't realise, but I did start to think, would that affect anything in the future? Which I have my answer now, it does. It obviously affects the colour of the flag. So, but at least now, you know, it represents the alliance. So my next plot of action is, we've got to get more login. Uh, so I want to get the retinue up. Because I also changed the settings. We don't get a delivery for armor or anything. So I can't build a retinue team, well, a, an army for my soldiers until... Also, that was another reason for going level 2. On these single houses, I'd say... For now... I need, well, I need level 2 burgers plots to get a blacksmith in so I can start building the weapons because storm winds are wild off I can't wait that long but next I think I'm going to have to get a little bit more login to build that so if we get someone now on the saw pit uh, will someone will someone just guide the ox? I'm not too sure on that. I think they do. When you put someone on the saw, but I'm not sure if someone has to be assigned to it. Looks like they do. So I get a family on that. Let me just make sure. Yeah, they're assigned to the granary in the storehouse. So the other two focus on this because they're taking their time with that. Got someone pulling in the wood. Get that. Bloody tree out of the way. Check the marketplace. How we doing? Fuel, food, clothing. Well, we've got... We're not building momentarily, so we'll get them pulling in the rest of the hides. Get that made. Um, hitching posts all the way down here, of course. So we've got three oxes. Four. One should be on the way somewhere. Here he is. Here goes our first ox. Get that log moving about quicker. We'll wait till they've stocked that. They've stocked that. So pull them off. Yeah, I'll pull them off. And we'll get them finished now. They can finish them. And then they can go and do something else. So once he's dropped that, we need someone on the oxes then, I'm guessing. Someone is on the oxes. What are you transporting? Um, why, why are you praying when there's logs to be logged about? Is someone going to go and get these horses? Oxes. Right. I think I know why. That's why. So again, we'll try that again see if anyone goes for the oxes saves the signing you know guiding an ox brilliant right so we're guiding an ox we'll want to chop i thought i got more than one timber okay Okay, so we're gonna have to start chopping the old wood. So we're gonna we're gonna speed up a bit now. Normally, I don't play in fast mode, but I want to catch up somewhat, you know, get caught up because it can take a while if you're just playing it on this mode. Right, they've got enough in there. So now, if I start that, they won't. They won't put any more in here now. How much wood we got now? We got none. So every la every timber now will be going kept. 
we've got planks, get the administrator, uh, the manor up, got to figure out, well I'll keep the manor close for now, just like I had with the church, to get it up quick, can be moved at a later date, so I'm going to put the manor relatively close, perhaps, let's find a place it will fit, just two, it's just, I need them out. I reckon, I reckon here, because then when I call them out, well, something was going here, I don't know what yet, but I need them out, bloody bandits. I need them kind of out my way, though. I imagine more logging camps are going to go along here. I don't want it too far away, it's going to take ages to build. So maybe I mean I might just just pop them pop like I don't know at the back of the church perhaps. Um, the trouble is I've noticed when you do that, the retinue guys don't move back in. But we're not going to worry about that now. I want it out the way where it's not going to bother me for a while. But close enough to... Build. Um, where do we reckon? Hmm. Because something was going here. I, I, like I said, I haven't decided what, but something was. I'll tell you what. I reckon out of the way there would be nice. Why is this wood coming in so slow? Speed things back up. Because you're all slow. Right, they're now waiting. See where you're going, shall I? Get on that log for me. Right. And best get... We'll get... I'll tell you what, they don't need... Oh, they're on pause. Oh, my bad. Right, I'll pause there and then I can get the family back on. Here you are. Come here, Gaga. Go and get me some clay. How much wood we got now? We've still got one wood. Come on. Got a bit of money coming in, have we? Which is enough to lay down. I don't want to waste a double on the, we on the weapons, you see. So we need... We need a lot of wood, basically. Right, you can come off of there. Right, get building. Someone's moving in there. We've got a new family. Right, so that means the next lot are going in there. We want enough wood for the manor, which is five. Four for that, nine. 10, 11, 12. We want at least 13 wood. And I'll tell you what, for now then, now we've got the manor going. Well, the resources for it, shall I say. I'll tell you what, I reckon there will do for now. Get that built. Get it built, muckers. Right, how many are on the logs? We need more logs. We've got two on there, two to build. Shouldn't take them long. not speeding it up anyway and it being so close everything's in close proximity i've made me rows thicker as well i like thick rows now my eggs don't really come in quick enough because ideally all these were supposed to have eggs so you get two four six eight eggs eight eggs a month but we ain't got the money to fill out all the eggs and kind of need weapons unless Poor quality, he said. Impossible. unless I hold out for now give these guys the eggs and then I'll move the blacksmith we can make because that's infinite so we can build some plots here who can then control the stone wear that stone out where they can work on that and well there's 
That's all the way over there, mate. It's quite far, that is. That's really far. But we need weapons. We need to make ourselves some weapons. I thought I'd up the ante sort of thing and not get the delivery. I don't know. I don't know why I did it. I just did it. I was feeling brave, I suppose. I mean, I will slow back down again eventually. Once I'm at a position where I'm like, yeah, okay, I've caught up. It's not going to be four years caught up. I mean, already, I'm kind of nearly there. You know, I've got some level two burgage plots, although I got to the point where I had some level three burgage plots and I'd, had, I'd got the charcoal, I'd got that, that, sheep breeding. We had sheep on the go. However... I'm not sure if I'm going to bring the sheep here this time. With West Fall, I'm in fertilisation now. Let them focus. Because in World of Warcraft, you know, there's farmland in West Fall. Probably sheep as well. Where Red Ridge is more... Is more... What would... What would that be? There's a town, there's a little town there, the tavern. I know that much. I think, yeah, there's an inn there, surely. And they've got, like, the land around it is, like, I don't, I can't remember. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I've been there. There's a bit of, there's, like, a garrison. I know there's a garrison as you go in. So we could do Red Ridge a little different. They don't have to be the farmers now where they was before because they were the only one with decent fertilisation. I don't think they had it. Westfall didn't. I think the army might have had fertilisation or it has now, one or the other. I'll tell you what, just quickly, if you've not seen the old, the, the recent ones I was doing, I'll give you a quick, quick look. We are in the old Eastern Kingdoms, you see? I had Alwyn, that's where I started. We got I'll show you Red Ridge in a minute. So Westfall, like I said. Alwyn. So picking up where we left off. Oh I'll tell you what. They smashed through that, didn't they? They smashed through that. I didn't realise. So now, we come into this. I had them all upgraded as well. Every single bloody one of them. If we get, what kind of body are we going for? I like, I like that, but. Let's get the colours. So we're blue and like gold. So I might just keep that. We'll just have to go with the basic armour for now, won't we? Obviously, until... Do we get some money? See, I can't even go after the bandits yet because they won't do it alone. Give it a few more months. Uh, right, let's get this done. Blue. We'll keep it like that, just for whatever. That's blue, gold, gold. But it also has a shield. I like to see. Or a block as he calls it. Ah, oh, done that. Oh. Helmet. <sighs> Sick right when I do this. Once he's done, it's done. So I'll check where we're at now. And figure out what. What's going up next? Which I'm guessing would be my blacksmithers. We need to get them and a woodworker person for the shields. Right, let's go blue. Oh, when I put the bandit camps, you can have like five maximum spawn, and I just started with one for now kept the raids the same right okay guys that's that's them that's my retinue so now we've got 
that's all built. Let's get people on the log then. We've got people spare now. No one working the tannery. Do we need them? No. Fuel, 83%. What are you doing? They're ploughing. Alright for now. And the closing, 75%. Um, we've got a lot of fuel. Probably just busy. Right, okay, so we'll keep that. It's, yeah, someone's just moved in. Have we got oh we haven't got enough money for the for the apples yet. Have we got any clay yet guys? We need some of that. Ooh, we got twenty five, right, get that on the trade ASAP. We can get the apples. So now we can move folks up here somewhere, perhaps. I mean that's not too far from to walk. If I put some houses here, let's have a look. So we want two, we want two burgers plots. I reckon Okay, so we'll go I think that will do two. Bring them like that. It's a bit I want them permanent. So ER, ER, what's this? What's this? What are we doing here? Oh, it's been a bitch. Okay. How far? I know it's a bit far away, but my storm men will bring it down. There we go. There we go. Get a bit level. I reckon. That's what I reckon. So high. Highest. No. Oh, that's your highest. That's. Now we need to pull someone off. Is one enough? Probably not. Anyone on the oxes? Okay, well we've got enough. We've got 14 wood there. That's not bad. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, you my friend can help on the trading, we'll get that up there quick, right, marvellous, I could think about having sheep here, now, I do like having sheep, because eventually I was going to sell them, so, thinking ahead, thinking ahead, where, are oh, I know where the sheep could live, but, what's that happen down here? How much of a pasture would that give me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Muck is going to bring that. He can start bringing that down. I forgot all about that. I did. Absolutely forgot about that. What am I say? I'm gonna have to save some money as well. So we're going to need money to upgrade them to the weaponsmiths. So we might want to get some timber in here. If I was to save me, we got 14. If I had to save me 8, that's enough to upgrade other places. And then we got a bit of, oh we got 15 planks. That's relatively enough to build the shields but just to be sure we'll get someone on that and then they'll start I'll tell you what once once they're laid once once they've got the woods there that's when I'll do that so yeah let's check the pasture size I like my sheep I do like to have sheep how far down we go we'll go here let the motherfuckers breed. Why are you not giving it me? Why won't why won't it allow it? What is it being a 
that gives 53. I'd say that's enough to start with, isn't it? So if we get that, put that pot in there like that, and then we'll build burgage plots down here to run the livestock trade, also the sheep farm, and eventually the uh, weaver's shop. Why stop doing that? So let me go like here, you know, cover that up a bit. Get them berries up there. Oh, you know what? I haven't done. He's not gonna bring them back because I forgot to switch that back on when I asked. Um, when I was meant to. Right, let's check this path. It looks a bit minging at the minute. It will get better. Alright, it's getting better. So. That's for my sheep. Let's get that road a little bit on the thicker side. So much has been built. I'll go and check what that is. Probably. My burgage plots. They're both done. Good job, guys. You're smashing it. You are smashing it. Right. So we don't want to upgrade anything here for now. So we can get back to... What could they do? What could they do? I've got to keep everyone busy. Get someone on there. And then we'll get back. Free in there. Everything's built now. Waiting on these guys to stop that tray. Get some more of that sweet, sweet money. Let's stick it up that road. Get them thick roads in so there's no traffic jams. So I'm guessing these roads will may stay permanent, they may not actually. So I'll focus on the roads that I know are gonna stay permanent. to get them berries but it's a shame the berries were so far away and everything spread out but I took it as it is I thought the, the first type the first one I get when I get put in our wing because I'm having a faff around with the colors every time I was like I'll take it and deal with it and just funny enough I got rich on these two so we'll be good for trading uh, so we need to think about putting, oh, thinking of, have we got someone on the oxes still? No. So I need to pull someone off. They're still busy. Well, we could spare a logger, I suppose. Why not? Get on there. Save me. Eight, no. Uh, yeah, they'll start pulling, taking it in slowly, maybe, whilst I picture what's going on here. That's why I play slow most of the time, because I like I can keep track easier. Unless I'm not building much, well. Even then, I don't speed up unless I'm desperate. But for now, I will. So once I've figured out what how this will look, because eventually I might this could be another pasture. So I might lay two pastures there, and then we've got room for like the burgage people and um sheep farm so whether I'd go like I could plonk it and then have a pasture going around it get that down as the first one delete that so they don't go in there I'm just trying to tell you what let's just pause that momentarily so they don't get confused 
or I can just pause it, I suppose. No harm in that. I want to see if it can, if I can go that round this thing, you know. Don't know if we're going to be able to do that. Oh, it's going to cut me off there. So if I was to go like that, the sheep farm's there, and then with any luck, Either the worker's shop, which is not looking good. Oh, why? Why, 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 why? Hmm. That space needs filled up with something. Uh, right. So it's got to go there. Like unless oh, could extend the road. What could fit there? What could I put there? Well, should have known. Just another. I'll tell you what. I could just leave it like that, and they'll just just fill up. I guess over time that. Is, yeah man that's spot on that that's, that's bravo I'm going to unpause that so when some of these are not so busy like they're not now take him off get him back on the clay and we always want that clay to be coming in as quick as we can with as little family as we got at the minute we're gonna want as soon as someone's moved in here and they're happy as Larry, boom, upgrade. Right, let's check how much wood we got here. Seven. Tell you what. This should be enough, shouldn't it? For a bit. 30 planks. So if we was to wipe that up, they shouldn't go put any more in, hopefully. They're putting some more in by the look of it, are they? No, let's check how long we've been on for now with this episode. I'll keep the episode short on 34 minutes. And I'll probably, you know, do live streams as well, ideally. But we're supposed to be fast forwarding to... I'll tell you what, well, well shall I cut the episode there? 34 minutes is alright, isn't it? And then... I'll either make another episode or go live or something, so throw that back down. This has been Alwyn, The Rise, episode 2. Uh, so hit a subscribe, hit a like if you enjoyed it, and follow the build. Playlist is up. This is, yeah, second episode, so I'll see you around. Thanks for watching.